2001. So we get AJ in Philadelphia. How are you? How you doing, Matt? I'm talking to you, aren't I? It's Matt and Jeff, yeah. Hey, uh, actually, yeah, Jeff, I haven't heard uh, about you, uh, nothing personal, but Matt, uh, my cousin of mine, is a huge fan of yours, mm -hmm. and he wanted me to give you a call and, and have a discussion with you about uh, this particular topic. Um, he's a, a hardcore atheist, if you will, um, and we've had many weeks and months of discussions about, about God and how I rationalize it. Um, and I, I think I'm right. I think he's... Uh, I think he's he's being short-sighted, and uh, that's why uh, I'm calling you now. Um, Are you admitting that you rationalize, or was that just his word for it? No, he's saying I'm not I'm not being rational, or it, it doesn't make quite sense. It's, uh, he's saying it's circular in reasoning. And uh, now let me explain to you my uh, my understanding of God. I think you're right, and I think science is right. When I say science, I mean Hawking or Doctor Dawking. Uh, uh, so on, you know, the Grand Design, that book that just came out, saying that you know God isn't required to to get involved in in creation. Mm -hmm. I completely support. I support that as someone who who believes in a noble God. Someone who, you know, to me, you know, a noble God is a God that is almost non-existent because the same uh, the same effect, the same uh, manifestation of of an unknowable God is equivalent to some God that doesn't even exist. Sure, and Tracy did a whole series with tra invisible transcendent dice and jars. The, the, uh, the unknowable is indistinguishable from the non-existent. It's Absolutely. Com it is completely indistinguishable. So are you saying you believe in an unknowable God? I say I do, yes. What, if, if, you, if you acknowledge that what you believe in is indistinguishable from something uh, that is not real, then you have to know that you can't make a distinction between it not being real and your believing. I mean, you having, what is the justification for belief in uh, the unknowable? Question. Uh, I can answer that. Okay. The answer to that is I, I think that even though God is unknowable, he has, uh, you know, uh, that everything has happened by chance, but this chance is really purposeful, okay? So that God has guided humanity through the last, let's just say, 6,000 years. And I'm saying that because that's all we have recorded history of, is 6,000 years. But he's guided humanity through manifestations that he sends to mankind to help guide, so that we don't kill ourselves off the planet. Okay, hang on. Hang on. You, you started off by saying that you <laughs> think that everything occurred by chance, but it's purposeful chance. Why do you think that? I think that because of the founder of the religion that I'm referring to, which I'll, I'll just say religion next, because I think that's not sure, whatever. the point here. Uh, it, the founder of, of that religion has stated very clearly that all the mentions, every religion that has ever mentioned God, referred to God, prayed to God, was actually referring to Him. And that He's come now to unite all mankind. Uh, so and, you're saying uh, you believe it because somebody told you so? I, I, th I think he, he's credible enough for, uh, for, for someone like me to, okay. to accept. Why do you think this individual is credible? Um, well, because it, everything that even atheists are saying seems to correspond to uh, everything he's laid out. But I can make a list of ten things, and ten of them are right, and then, or nine of them are right, and the tenth one's wrong. What you're doing is saying that here's somebody who's telling you something, and it seems to go along with everything you hear, and oh, by the way, in addition, he's telling you that he's the God that everybody else has talked about. Well, that, that claim is the only one that we're debating here, not anything else. Okay. It needs its own justification. The fact that, that other claims by this individual agree with other things are entirely irrelevant as to whether or not the claim that he is the God everybody else is talking about right. um, is true. And also, I can demonstrate that, that is necessarily false, because the God, there's not a God that everybody else is talking about. The ideas, the, the, the concepts of gods that exist in other religions are in many cases mutually exclusive, which means they cannot possibly be pointing to the same individual. I, uh, well, he, he answers that question very specifically. He says the reason why they seem so different, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, and so on, they appear different because uh, the, the messages that they've brought, the, the, the way that they've described God has been dependent on our own personal understanding within a particular sure, cultural that's an, context. that's an ad hoc rationalization, and I don't care if he said it 
or who said it, it's irrelevant to proving the point that he is who he claims to be. How do you demonstrate that he is who he claims to be? Well, he, his, he says his fir first most uh, proof is his own self and well, his own claim. Well, that's not proof. Sorry. That's nothing. And by the way, you, 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 you have identified an individual that you believe is an unknowable God. If there's not two contradictions in that sentence, I don't know. I've never heard of him. <laughs> no, I'm saying he's the, the knowable component of something that's unknowable to begin there with. There is no knowable component of an unknowable. He's just like you and I. You know, he, 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 yeah, he I breathed, agree. He ate, he's he, just he like slept, he, and I he died. Agree. Like a regular I have no person. problem at all. I have no problem at all accepting that he's just like you and I, except that one of us is lying about whether or not we're a god. Right, and, and I guess you'd have to say he's lying or not. And, and I think I have just as much uh, right to say I do believe what he's saying sure as you do. to say you don't. You but absolutely what's your justification? have as much right. But what's your justification for believing it? Not your right. What reason do you have to believe that it's actually true? What reason? My, my reason is his own self, his own person, his own claim, his own writings. So there's a guy, he wrote some stuff, he made some claims, and that agree with everything else that you've seen, like even from atheists, except on this issue that there is a, an unknowable God. And you decided to just go ahead and believe it. Okay, well, that is your right. But there's nothing in there that really constitutes an argument for why it makes sense to believe it. Here, here's an example, AJ. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say four things. The universe is billions of years old. The sky appears blue due to the, due to the refraction, refraction of sunlight by our atmosphere. I shave off my head every week, and I'm God. Well, then I'd, I'd, have me? To, uh, I'd have to either believe you or not. And do you believe me? No, I don't believe you. Why don't you believe me? Uh, because you're, you are not, uh, I mean, are you trying to, what is your purpose? Are you trying to bring about unification of mankind and world peace? Or what is, what is do you have an sure. ulterior purpose? Sure, in some sense I could say that I am, I am uh, uh, in partly about the unification of mankind and world peace, but um, why don't you believe me? That, that's, your answer had no relevance to my question. No, you've just made a very spectacular claim. So, so let, let's let's see if you are if you are, are true or not. Are I, all I, people? I, are I, I all people? I would be willing to be a follower of you, but you need to show me how you can unite Muslims and Christians. How no, are you going to do that? It, but but AJ, I'd certainly agree that if there's a person who really wants to unite mankind and bring about world peace, and and uh, and they're really doing it and seem to know what they're doing, uh, that is a good reason to follow that person. How do you make the leap from that to they are um, a representative of this unknowable God? Well, how does that, that, how the does same, that the same follow? Thing. You're just using uh, different words to describe the same thing to follow somebody. You're putting your whole trust in them. That follow gonna... equals worship? I'm sorry? So follow for you equals worship? Yeah, yes, it but, does, because it, I don't believe in the in superstitious worship of religion. Sure, I, sure, and, and, and I'm not all together. And, and, and I'm not do. And I'm not actually bothered by that, whether you want to call it follow worship, whatever. Um, it's still not a demonstration that the individual is a god. You're talking about analyzing the efficacy of their plan he's, for improving the species, and from that, saying, "Yep, I believe they're claiming that there's a god." Not, he's not saying that this per he, there's two yeah, characters he's, he's talking god about. Either. There's uh, the I'm god. saying god is unknowable. This guy's like a prophet, right? Purposes. Is this so. character's like a prophet that you're talking about? Almost like a not really a prophet because he's not prophesizing anything. He's uh, you know, but um, there's the spokesperson, and then there's the god. And the okay. god is unknowable, and then there's a the spokesperson. And the spokesperson wants to bring about uh, the unification of mankind and world peace and all that, which is a fine thing. But I don't right. see how you get from that to therefore you should believe him when he says that this otherwise unknowable god exists. Well, no one else has really claimed that equivalent and really stuck through so with what? it. So what? So what? Uh, that, that so he, the first that person who claims anything to just to be believed? Christians and Muslims and Hindus and whoever else. But that's about us. That's about humanity. That's about changing the world. How do you get from that to there is an unknowable God? And what difference does this unknowable God make? It doesn't. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. It doesn't make a difference. Either. And why anyway. say that you yeah. believe it? You de you've admitted that you have no reason for believing is true, and right. you've admitted that it's irrelevant. So why do you say that you believe it? Well, because I want to be dedicated to bringing about unification of mankind. 
And and okay. And the only and way you can do find some other guy. My re- my recommendation is find some other guy who is interested in uniting humans and bringing about world peace. Who does not ask you to also believe an additional thing that he can't prove and that is irrelevant. Well, the find reason why I don't else. want to do that is because that's not practical. There's Muslims and Christians who believe in God. You can't just take away their belief. Someone comes and says, hey, I'm representing that unknowable God. Believe in me. He's going to unify uh, religious people. Look, let me, let me put it to you this way. Uh, first of all, you can liberate people from their religious beliefs. Jeff and I are walking, talking proof of that. Secondly, um, when I was a Christian, if somebody had come to me and say that they had, that said that they are proof of an unknowable God, okay, you're you're a crazy heretic, right? Because well, think, not only yeah, not only is your claim we're just talking about it two different ways. Because not only because not only is the claim logically contradictory and irrelevant, it right. directly contradicts the truth that at the time I thought I understood. That right. is not a pathway to liberating people from their Christian beliefs. And the yeah. idea that just keeping the the idea of a god in play makes it possible to unite people of different religions is nonsense. Because a guy who is going to unite humanity and bring about world peace, but isn't the second coming of Jesus, is the very definition for a lot of Christians of Satan. And, the, I'm sorry, the Antichrist. Yeah. The Antichrist. And, and, so no, that is not a recipe for uniting everyone. And, and lastly, AJ, if, if what you're really doing is trying to keep this concept of God alive to use it as a tool and you actually don't believe it and this God is irrelevant, then you are engaged in dishonesty and sophistry, and you are convincing people to give up their beliefs for bad reasons, and that's the worst thing you can possibly do. Because we want people to give up their beliefs or to believe things for good reasons, because they already believe things for bad reasons. And when you, when you convince somebody to, for example, get rid of their religious beliefs, and you do so for bad reasons, as you find in, for example, like the, the Zeitgeist movie and, and other things, when somebody comes along later and corrects that misinformation, you, they have now doubly reinforced their position. You, you, you don't want to lead people away with misinformation because as soon as it's exposed as false, as soon as they begin to understand that what you're really claiming is logically contradictory, that you're, what you're really claiming is irrelevant to the point, and that they have been duped again, you've lost. I think there's a fine line between uh, straight out lying and, and being tactful and using wisdom. I don't. I don't. I, th- I think best of sure. luck to you. I don't think your method is going to work. To be honest, yeah, I mean, look I got at the five years. Of, years. I got five years of emails that prove you wrong, AJ. What do you got? <laughs> I have 160 years of, of of transformation of individual human beings. Oh my aching ass! You don't have 160 years of nothing. You're what, 24, 25, maybe? No, I'm not. I'm talking about the whole, the whole, the whole caboodle here, the whole thing here, from from the beginning of of this this thing I'm talking about. But, um. Well, good luck. I mean, I guess I have to. I can just say good luck here, and uh, maybe maybe you'll uh, succeed in bringing about uh, these things you claim: unity of mankind and uh, oneness of humanity. We didn't. We didn't actually say that that was our job. I mean, we'd certainly like it to happen, but you know, yeah, right. I'm, I'm not, I work in the computer well, game industry. That's, that's what I do. I make games that, for a that living. That is his job. So huh? I think that makes him a little bit. Uh, uh, his claim better. Yeah, not if he has to lie to do it. Yeah. Anybody who, who's got to support their claim with I am the representative and embodiment of an unknowable God that everybody else has been referencing, they're selling you something. They're selling you snake oil. And I'm sorry that you can't see past that to actually see it. Um, I realize that a lot of people have to have, seem to, seem to need this concept of a God in order to bolster their beliefs. Uh, I don't, and I'd like to encourage other people to get to a position where they don't, because right. we can keep the good and get rid of the bad. We can keep no. the good ideas wherever they come from, and there's no reason, as you noted, to actually believe the thing that you believe, other than you, it makes you feel better. Right. Well, yeah, and, I think, and you think you oil is, is a good analogy there, and uh, I think that's why it's, it's, you guys need to, to do your work and without any interference, uh, because there could be somebody out there trying to sell snake poison, and we've got to be able to distinguish that. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks, All right, thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for calling. Yep.